Hi. Hi. We're, we're Jimmy, Jimmy and Johnny Jimmy. Lewis, and we are the two, two old, old farts, farts traveling. traveling. Sometimes we're traveling, sometimes we're just old farts. <laughs> is of uh, the cockpit it is but it's uh, <laughs> it's roped off on the front side it's not roped off on the back side and it says stairs and it didn't say don't so I'm in it Be awfully small to get into this cockpit. This almost looks like one of those lighter things, planes that they used. Really? In more in, to land on D Day. In D Day. Major Howard? Awfully small. Here's a blinker. <laughs> 
and an oxygen flow indicator and a marker beacon is, uh, light. Release. Release. Here's a wind direction and knots. Release the uh, cord. Release the secret weapon. Well, I'm glad it didn't have any, didn't have any engines. So. Right. See all these. Uh, toggle switches yeah. tell me there's an engine yeah. attached yeah. to this thing or was. But here's the, the feet things. exaggerating when I say that this thing is small. If you had the least little bit of, uh, what you call it, um, this is how thick that window is, apparently. Put a piece of this so that you can see that that's how thick that was. I could, if you had any sort of claustrophobia, you couldn't sit in this thing, much less fly in it. Landing gear. Warning cord. One man who has dedicated his life to saving counties is Maurice Round, who owns three super counties. This one resided in Sanford, Florida. This model was the last model built. Called the Starliner, it was once flown by the German airline Lufthansa. It ended up in Sanford when it developed problems while being flown to Maine, where Maurice keeps the other two. While at Sanford, there was no opportunity for anyone to view this magnificent aircraft. Time began to take its toll, and the tie-down fees began to add up. Maurice contacted Kermit Weeks, creator of Fantasy of Flight, to see how they could work together for each other's benefit. By bringing the Connie to Fantasy of Flight, Visitors would be able to view the historic aircraft. The Connie could park for free. Okay, Although the trip from Sanford to Fantasy of Flight was only 55 miles, weeks of preparation were necessary. The aircraft had not flown for many years, and all the systems necessary for safe flight had to be checked. This is a rivet. Uh, not a rivet, but a, the rivet's in here. And the rivet gun is loaded with these, and they just like a machine gun. Du, 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 du. It comes through. You can see it on the inside of this thing right in there. You see the holes through there? You see it in this lid right here. Mm -hmm. See it right there. But people sit there all day with ear muffs on their ears to pound these things into the See through the hole there because there's no rivet in it yet. Okay. With these ribs, I must have touched a thousand million of these. These are each one has a part number. It's lightweight, but when there's hundreds of them, it's the strength of the, the panel. So that they don't need a solid piece, but it's right. each one still is, strong. Ready. See how many rivets it's going to take. Yeah. Good Lord. Do they have to cut the hole first and then? I'm not sure. Probably so. Drill the hole first. And then first. put the... Yeah. yeah. So there's a million miles of... What you call this? The rib cage? Yeah, 
ribs. The ribs. Binkley flew in one of these B-24s, B-24 Liberator, and they crash landed in New Guinea, in the jungle. Now, I don't know whether or not he was a tail gunner or what, but he was one character. The problem was that Uncle Hot was known for telling tremendous lies. So when he came back from the New Guinea jungles telling people that there were critters over there, people over there with six inch tails sticking out of the base of their spine, everybody thought he was lying. Well, 15 years later when National Geographic went to Oh, there's a gunner up on top too, Daddy. When uh, National Geographic went to New Guinea and videoed these people with the little six inch tails and everybody saw that, they said, well, Hot, we thought you were lying. We didn't know you were telling the truth. And he said, I was telling the truth. They said, yeah, but you've told so many lies in your life that we just didn't know if you were telling the truth or not. Those are real flying planes, those are my planes. This <laughs> is for the babies. And the pilot checklist for the babies. It's a real rickshaw. It's just painted differently with different things on it. That's, I remember seeing a photograph of my father in one of these in Hong Kong.
Fabulous museum in one hangar. The constellation is outside. And seniors get a discount. <laughs> it's twelve dollars for regular adults, ten dollars for seniors. Well worth your effort. And it's outside of like That's where the starboard gunner, tail gunner, sat. It's a similar thing. It's not, it was a rickshaw, but it was similar. Did you enjoy your visit? I love it. <laughs> This is up here, it's in a hangar. I think it's all private in a hangar. I don't think he had it on display at first. Okay, okay. Well, this one was out. I got pictures of it. Um, I don't think this is the flight for $229 a piece. I assume they did. I didn't see it. I would have loved to have seen it. Because you're up there two or three days and there's just so much. I love flying a bike lane for 50 What are the big structures for? They just take me up on that. Metal things you get. Oh, it's a zipline. Oh. We used to sell tickets for that. He's going up here to turn around and go back out that way. It is the runway. Now these two hangers, they were my kids. That's not a... So he bought a whole... He bought a whole year. ADP because that's doesn't look like it's flying fast.
you may be doing now. You may turn around and come back. Okay, we're off the ground. We're in the trees, but we're off the ground. And what was the rationale, I forgot, behind needing the three vertical stabilizers? Uh, because of the engines were so big. And the wings are so long? No, the engines are big and the props had to be so big they had to make the plane real high. But when they made the plane real high, it wouldn't fit in the hangar in a normal tail. <laughs> so they had to create a tail that would work, but keep it low. The whole purpose was to I would use one of the planes that would go to Los Angeles, New York, quickly. And this is the last Connie he ever ever built. Ever built. I probably saw it take off. So this is all that remains of Fantasy of Flight. Kermit Weeks built. That entire hangar structure, double hangar structure, about 20 years ago, 15 years ago, for 15 years he ran Fantasy of Flight out of that, including while he had the static displays and while he was trying to refurbish some of the other planes. But after 15 years, it proved non-commercially tenable so he built this one across the grass runway from it and moved everything into that he's still he's still refurbishing planes but not at the same rate he does own 170 planes The last Starliner built. Unfortunately, by 1957, it wasn't economically feasible to continue to make these things when jets were also being used for commercial air flight. Well, I can't see.